Well, it was a relatively peaceful day in Greensboro Tuesday on day four of protests for George Floyd and day two of a citywide curfew, which expired this morning as of six. WFM News News Candace Red stopped by downtown Greensboro and has a recap of how the night went. More than 100 businesses stand in downtown Greensboro. We're talking about restaurants, retailers, hair salons, and so much more. And as you can see, the majority of those restaurants are boarded up to prevent the possibility of vandalism. And take a look right here. Those boarded up walls, well, they're now becoming murals to honor the life of George Floyd. For the fourth day in a row, passionate protesters took to the streets last night to demand justice for George Floyd. They marched on Elm Street, Eugene Street, and Gate City Boulevard. Protesters chanted, hands up, don't shoot, no justice, no peace, Black Lives Matter, and say his name, George Floyd. The protesters also made their voices heard in front of the police department. While there, they took a knee and raised a fist to symbolize black power, solidarity, and an end to police brutality. We've had a few, we had some rioting, we had some looting going on, but I want the, the narrative to be, no, this was peaceful. Um, you know, this was a, a peaceful event. This was a loving event. This was an event of unity. We didn't come to destroy the Greensboro. We came to challenge the city of Greensboro, but we did not come to destroy it. Well, once the city -wide curfew hit at 8 p.m. Protesters went home. The protest ended peacefully. Well, for more details on this, all you have to do is visit our website. That's WFMYNews2.com.